Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're an OD, welcome back guys. So as you can see by the title, we are switching this old wig into this frontal ponytail. Um, I'm not sure if you remember my review about a year ago featuring this hair that I ordered from Amazon. Um, I was just still trying to make the hair work, but the hair in the frontal part is very thin and there's just no way around that. So in this video, you're gonna see how I detach the frontal from the wig. Well, you don't see that, but I do that though to achieve the frontal. So I take it from the wig and then I install it into this ponytail. Um, there are some things you did not see off camera, such as the ends of this hair was originally like a dark blue. Um, in order to get it this color, I ended up adding some mint from a door, but it didn't do anything but kind of lighten up the blue. So then on top of that, I went in with my darkest brown from a door and then lifted to this color, which is perfect, especially with the green skunk patch that I have here. I did not record that on camera, but I did do a little TikTok, so I will include that in the end. But for the most part, guys, I'm very satisfied. This is my first time ever doing a frontal ponytail. So I'm satisfied about how it looked for the most part, being it was my first time. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys get into the video so you can see how I achieved this look. So guys, I already had my hair straightened, but I'm going in and just touching up on my um, perimeter because those always get a little bit touched. But um, as you can see here, I separated the frontal from the old wig. You see how thin and just, yeah, y'all see why I ain't really like it. So I'm going here and just um, doing like a prep ponytail to get my hair where it needs to be. These are the products I use. Now I'm just going in on the perimeter and just laying those down. And I don't show too much on that because I mean, I know y'all don't want you to see me lay down my barely uh, edges. So. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why one side is more th is thicker than the other, but mm, but we working on it. So I'm brushing my hair up now into the ponytail, um, just making sure we can get it as flat as possible. I'm gonna go in with my Care Care wax stick, and that's just gonna help lay down the hair uh, more, um, especially where I'm um, trying to get the back and the edges to be flat. And now we are gonna secure it with some. Um, Aussie hairspray free spray actually and I'm just going around and y'all when I started doing this tutorial my flat arm broke so you're gonna see me go in with my um, straightener um, because I mean not my flat arm the other way around y'all my hot comb broke so I had to go in with my straightener to try to flatten my hair we had to make do what we had for the time of the video so like you see here I'm using my straightener to flatten the back um, y'all when I plugged it up it just popped but I think that's because I be wrapping my cords when I put my stuff up. And I think I like the, the cord had little pieces popping. But yeah. Back to the video. As you see, I'm going in with the Boho Liquid Go and the Boho Jelly. And I'm using the Jelly versus the Perimeter. And I'm like, whew, that wig is horrible. And yes, so I'm putting it on. But it's not laying enough to be uh, tacky. It's tacky, but it's not enough security for me. Especially when I'm trying to pull the ponytail up. So you'll see in the next couple of steps, I take the wig, the frontal off, and I apply some um, Ghost Bond um, glue, and I just put it a little one layer over the perimeter because I know I wouldn't keep this hair in long, but I just wanted to make sure it was secure enough to pull the ponytail. So that's what you're seeing me do um, here, and I'm gonna let the rest of the video speak.
Okay, y'all. So I am trying to part my hair out as far as like the baby hairs and the section that I'm going to use to actually do like the little um, piece part that will be hanging out. Or I would say swoop, but it's not really a swoop. Um, now, mind you, that this like is like a hair that I already use. So like I, I'm not really a baby hair person. And I don't know if it's because I just don't do them enough on myself or I just kind of don't like it. But I was like, maybe this could use some baby hairs. So, you know, just to try to help because like the lace did not, you know, lift well as far as when I was trying to lift the knots. That portion, I don't know why the hair color, but the knots was just not lifting. So I was like, maybe that'll help. So I try to do some baby hair here. And I so in these next steps, that's what you're going to see me do here. Um... And look at that look at that feet look how thin the front was that's why i didn't like it like look at that it's so there's no way it could be anything in a hundred density when a frontal is like that like <laughs> they bamboozled me but it's okay we learn and we're gonna make do what we got um so this is why we are turning this into a ponytail and i'm gonna put in the description box below the video where I initially got the wig so you can see where it's from and all the information and how I thought about it but um I'm gonna let y'all continue to watch me style this hair I had some hair that is now green or the best I could get. It was blue, but I thought it was green enough to match, but it wasn't. So I tried to dye it and it kind of lifted the actual color I had. Mm -hmm. No. So then I was like, let me just dye all one color. It is dark green, which is probably going to be the closest I'm going to get. So now I'm just trying to blow dry it. I'm going to add some two pieces in the suit part and then we'll be done so i'm gonna keep the mode on and all that because this girl was struggling a little bit i don't really do baby hairs so, so i'm gonna see what's natural but i also want to look right so it was like a struggle they still kind of like in between but they're doable so we're gonna still continue on and let's go ahead and style this hair and do a ponytail and then we can style it so i will come back once that is done but I will come back talking. I should say that. Um. Alright guys, so for this step, I did end up um adding some tracks in between the part and that's because as you can see how thin it was um to get even somewhat not even of a like a fuller but just just yeah i guess fuller look i wanted to add that in because i needed the length as well and so i just went in and parted in between um the hair and added some tracks um i also which i didn't see this part just to make the the um piece a little bit fuller as well I put two tracks together and I had a pin and I pinned it behind it to try to give it that fuller um, look as well because once I put the tracks in there it still wasn't full enough for me but um, with me adding them two pieces in the back it did work out so um, I did do that off camera but I just wanted to include that information to you guys so you know.
So guys, a lot of the process um, with doing this hair, um, I did um, struggle a little bit. And I think it's just also because it was my first time. So a lot of things I'm not showing on camera, but this little wrap part, it, no, I can do it on someone else, but for doing yourself, I feel like doing your own hair takes a lot more time. And that's maybe that's just me, but um, I just kind of had some issues. And so you don't see that part and you don't see me style the ponytail. But for the most part, guys, this is um, how I achieve this little hoop. I would say hoop. This um, flat portion to wrap around my ponytail. guys that's pretty much it for the video if you liked it and made it this far please don't forget to thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload and as always stay true and stay you and i will see you guys in the next video